The Nest Cam IQ is one of the premier smart home cameras on the market today and with its $300 price tag you have to wonder is it worth it. So let's jump into a deep review of the Nest Cam IQ and by the end of this video you're going to know whether or not you want to head down this path with Nest and their top line camera. Let's start out with some specifications on the Nest Cam IQ. Now there is a 4K sensor on this camera, but it records video at 1080p and 30 frames a second. Now it's recording in H.264, which is your standard high definition capability, but you can lower and raise the quality of video being sent to the cloud. There's no local storage, so more on that in a bit, but you can change the quality from 720p all the way up to 1080p at 30 frames a second. The sensor is quite large here on this camera and you can tell just from the glass on the front of this device that it is quite large. It gives you a 130 degree field of recording basically. So you're able to see quite far out. It's giving you a very wide shot and basically I can't tell you enough good things about the quality of recording that comes out of this camera. To be honest, as a YouTuber, I've looked at this and I've thought, boy, maybe I should be using this instead of my uh, GoPro that I have here on the side of the table. So, you know, that should tell you a lot in terms of the video quality and the ability to digitally zoom. While that doesn't help you, you know, it necessarily in terms of quality, it does help you to see additional things in your videos. So, so all of that comes down to a fantastic video quality. One of the biggest features here is the facial recognition or what they call familiar faces with the Nest Cam IQ. It will recognize people in your home. So it recognizes when it sees a face and then it shows up in your application whenever you go into the Nest application that it's actually recognized someone. And over time you build a library of people and you can merge people together as it sees the same face multiple times. You can actually merge that together. Now what that leaves is the ability for the Nest Cam IQ to tell you whether or not you know the person in your home. There is a problem with this and I'll get to that in a minute. At night, the Nest Cam IQ has an incredible ability to use its IR LED and give you true night vision. Now, what I mean by this is 20 to 30 feet and the entire scene that the camera can see at the point will be lit up very similarly to what you see during the day. The only difference is really going to be it's black and white. So that's kind of what it triggers over to in night vision or night mode and you will see black and white. Now the difference between this camera and some of the other cameras that I've worked with that have supposed night vision is the IR LED being used here is bright enough and pushed out enough in the range of the camera to actually show you the entire field that it's looking at or the entire scene that it's looking at. Lots of other cameras will just have a brighter spot in the middle, sometimes over bright spot in the middle, and it will get darker as it goes out into the, the edges of the scene. In terms of audio, this camera is actually very good at audio and you wouldn't expect that from a camera. It does have a speaker on the back and it does have a three, uh, a three series of microphones on it. So it is capable and because it has the Google Assistant on board, it is capable of talking to you not just as two-way communication, which it can do as well, but also as a smart home assistant. So now what I'll tell you is, it is not capable right off the bat of you know playing music and it's not capable of a lot of the smart home functions i'll get to that in a minute but it is a capable speaker and the two-way communication is as good as any as i've ever seen or worked with here so you know what you see with lots of smart home cameras is a bad echo that goes on whenever you're speaking or whenever someone's speaking to you I have not had that experience with the Nest Cam IQ. So it is high, high quality, and that's actually some software that they built into it that as you're speaking, that is not picked up and sent back to you. So very high quality, 
audio on this device in general. Now in terms of that Google Assistant on board, because that is a big feature and it clearly separates this product from any other product really on the market, it has a smart home voice assistant on board. Now the Google Assistant is capable of doing things like making calendar entries, but what you're not going to find are those kind of audio heavy features working on the Google Assistant. So it's kind of a stripped down version of the Google Assistant overall. You don't have the ability to play music. You don't have the ability to get news. You're not going to be using it for those kinds of things anyways because the speaker is not big enough. But what you can do with it, things like calendars and smart home control. So you can actually ask whatever it's seeing to show up on something like a Google Home Hub. I have a Lenovo smart display here or any of the smart displays or a Google Chromecast if you have one of those in your home as well. So the ability to control smart lights and all of the products that you have in the Google Home app and that integration that goes with it. In terms of the physical device, you know, in general, the Nest Cam IQ is a pleasing device to look at in terms of smart home devices. Now it is 327 grams, so it's a little heavier than you're going to find in something like a Wise Cam or some of the smaller smart home home cameras on the market. You know, our low cues are a lot smaller as well. So in general, it's a heavier camera, but in terms of mounting hardware, you get all the mounting hardware you could need to stick it on a wall. You get a 10 foot cable and the mounting hardware, all of the details around how you can mount it. And let me give me some examples of that. The mounting plate that fits on it is going to absorb some vibration from things around your house. Keep this a very, very steady camera. That's just because it has a very soft base or the very bottom of that mounting plate is very soft. So it keeps vibration out of the camera. That's very important when we're talking about high quality video. Another couple of things with that 10 foot cable, this is relatively strong. I'll say it's relatively strong and rigid. The ability for you to actually plug in the USB-C adapter, the power adapter, into the back of this camera. It actually is a recessed connection point, so as you make that connection, it is physically deep into the device and the power cord is basically never going to fall out. It's a secure, strong connection. So you're not going to find your power cable sitting on the floor. And another thing in terms of actually mounting this device, you can actually mount it upside down and when you do that, you are capable of flipping the image in the application. So they're giving you lots of these detailed things within the physical properties of this device that really set it apart from other smart home cameras. One thing Nest did, despite maybe not selling this everywhere in the world, they really made the power adapter and this whole system international ready. And what I mean by that is that's a 50 to 60 hertz, 50 or 60 hertz power adapter that you have in this device. It's 110 to 240 volt capable. So all you'll need is an adapter to change the plug style basically in your Nest Cam IQ and it's international ready. In terms of wireless capabilities, this is quite an interesting device. It is dual band in terms of the Wi-Fi signal. So it's capable of 2.4 or 5 gigahertz and on the 5 gigahertz side, it actually has the AC wireless protocol. So that's 802.11 AC, which is up until very recently, the fastest and best protocol out there for for Wi-Fi communication. Now on top of that, it also has low power Bluetooth available to it. So, you know, that's a big differential from other smart home cameras as well. And all of this is encrypted with 128-bit AES encryption. So very secure and very good wireless capabilities. We've already talked about this a little bit, but the integration with the Google Home application is becoming deeper and deeper. And you know, now you can directly connect to these cameras within the Google Home application. You can actually see the feed live 
live as you as you go there obviously with devices like this you can show the feed and Chromecast you can show the feed from your camera so over time the integration will get deeper and deeper and it's already pretty good so now that we've talked about the specifications let's move down the list here let's talk about some of the other details of this product as far as cameras go clearly the Nest Cam IQ is one of the top on the market if not the top on the market you could probably say the Nest Cam outdoor cam the IQ version of that is a little bit better since it's night vision goes 50 feet but other than that this camera is pretty much tops in the smart home market now where I start to have some issues with this product and where the review takes a bit of a turn is in terms of cost so you know there's three issues basically that I have with the Nest Cam IQ that will affect your decision to make a purchase of this product the first being it is a $300 US smart home camera and with that in mind I expect to get everything I need that is obviously the most expensive camera that I can think of there's some that come close and yeah there's probably some that that go above it in certain instances but ultimately this is one of the most expensive smart home devices you can buy today and so I expect to get everything with it now that brings me to my second point in order to enable a number of features including the facial recognition which we talked about zones of control so basically zones that you want to uh, blur block out from motion detection or you want to have different zones of motion detection to see people at different spots you need you basically to do a number of these functions including recording anything on this camera you need what's called nest aware and nest aware is a subscription service that is at a minimum fifty dollars a year for you to go ahead and be able to bring any video to nest cloud nest servers and get all of those other functions and capabilities that I talked about now when you think about all of that you're now spending in the first year $350 at a minimum and the prices go up from there so that $50 subscription is for five days of video being stored on nest servers now you can go with a 10 or a 30 day subscription and it goes basically up accordingly so 5 is 50 and 30 is 300 or you can go on a monthly basis for $30 a month but that ends up being more expensive so if you want five day recording this is suddenly a $350 Nest Cam IQ and will continue to grow in cost over the years that brings me to my third point or my third real issue with the Nest Cam IQ now basically with this being so high quality and I, I told you you know your lowest quality setting was 720p so that means that with it being an entirely cloud-based camera you need to upload all of that data so if you have a nest aware subscription and we've kind of already talked that that's really important to get most of the features that you want with this camera then you will be up loading through your router through your wireless system at home you will be uploading 100 gigs as a minimum for the video at 720p and no matter what nest aware subscription you have so that's at a minimum and it goes all the way up to 400 gigabytes per month of space you have to have for one nest cam iq so if you've got a lot of these you better have quite the data plan for your home internet and you better be capable of your home internet handling that much traffic across it so that's a lot of data and i would prefer a local storage option from nest to be honest so how do you go about making a purchasing decision here on the nest cam iq if money is no object and it is for some people hey go buy this camera it is unbelievable you will love every second of it get a nest aware subscription and go forward and enjoy it and pair it with a google home hub and you will be happy no matter what now beyond that if money becomes an object then i think there are some other lower cost alternatives 
And you know, when you consider you're paying this $300 here, you can go out and buy a less expensive camera and still have it integrate with say a Google Home Hub or a Chromecast, all those devices. You can get a Google Assistant on board those devices as well. So, you know, in general, I'd say the cost point here or the price point here doesn't necessarily match up for a lot of people that are just looking to build the average smart home but if you're a business I will tell you that this is the camera I would want in my business especially with the facial recognition capabilities and that nest aware logging capabilities this is what I'd want and I would be sure that I would have very good footage of anybody who entered my place of business so I think that sums it up pretty well here for the nest cam IQ overall love the device the price and that subscription model really starts to hit home, I think, for a lot of people. But overall, like I said, amazing camera. So thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Here come the subscribe buttons for you to join our channel.